really does not make any sense at all. Hey guys, thank you for tuning in to another empties video. It has been a while. I have not done an empties in forever, but I've been accumulating them. I knew at some point I would get around to recording them for you. Several of you said that you were looking forward to it, so here I am. I'm going to try to keep my talking to a minimum, which is going to be quite a task. You know me, but um because I'm going to try to get through this in one video. If it looks like it is getting long, then I'll break it up into a part one and two. But thank you so much for being here. I'm Shanita. If you have not been here before, thank you for stopping by. Uh, hopefully you will find something interesting, learn something new in this video that will be helpful to you or to someone you know, and decide to stick around for more videos. I've got many of them that need editing. Um, I like bringing new companies to you, brand new uh, companies and products and reviewing them and using them and trying them. This actually was a um, hair do that I did from one of the new brands that I use. And if it is edited before this video, then I will put it in the description box. But this is the hair from um, Nur Creations. Nur Creations. I'll put it here in the uh, video for you to see. So go and check them out if you have not heard of them before. I like buying little small treasures that a lot of people don't know about and bringing them to you. So again, here I go. I'm going to get these um, empties done and I'm going to just run through them. If you have any questions, then just drop them in the box or let us know any experience you may have had with any of these that I talk about or if there's one you're interested in. Whatever comments you want to share in the comment section, I will meet you there and we will talk all about it. So I'm just going to jump in. This is the Curl Cocktail Conditioning Styling Cream from Jane Carter. I know you all have seen this before. I showed this when I first started doing videos, probably a little over a year ago. Um, this is the one that James Carter came out with for more super curly and coily hair. And the ingredients are really good. Uh, it has water, coconut oil, sunflower oil, glycerin, and safflower seed oil as the first five ingredients. I wasn't sure about this because it had that loose, not loose, not loose, like a medium consistency uh, feel to it. But I love this. Very, I think every empties video I've done, I've said, you won't see a styler come through here in forever because I only normally do a styler two, three times and then I'll, I'll move on and try something else. Hashtag. However, this one, all done. I used it all. Um, not only is this a great one to use when you're styling your hair on wash day, it is a great refresher because it's so lightweight. So like it gives your hair such a light feel. It creates so much shine. It creates so much moisture. Um, I, you can use this in a tad bit of oil on wash day or even maybe a light butter if you want. During the week, if I want to go back and refresh hair, and it does not necessarily have to be from this. It can be hair from something else I've used. If a few days in, I feel that crunch where my hair is just kind of dried out and it's now dehydrated, I don't add water. I just take a little bit of this, put it back on that dry hair, and twist that section back up. But this is a great refresher. It's perfect for that. And I'm usually a person who's a fan of thick, creamy, rich products. So this will really fool you. If you think you are a 4A, B, C person and you can't use this, this is going to blow your mind. You're going to be so freaking amazed when you see how your hair loves this stuff. It's super hydrating and the shine is incredible. I got this one from Marshalls, $7.99. You can normally find it in a Marshalls or TJ Maxx. So type fours, give this a shot. I'm telling you, it's gonna blow your mind eight dollars here is earthborn organics stimulating growth oil i will put the name of the companies that i have codes for in the description box if you're interested in any of these brands or any of the products earthborn organics is a company that i'm a brand ambassador for i highly suggest them um i have not tried a bad product from them 
incredible ingredients. She's just so, so, so super talented. But this is a growth oil that contains grapeseed oil, apricot kernel oil, castor, argan, and jojoba. Perfect medium oil, not too light, definitely not too heavy creates so much shine. You can use it on your scalp, but I love using it to seal in hair. And y'all, you can use this as a body oil. Like all these vegetable oils are great for it, your body. So that is what this is for. Here is my mango pineapple not be gone conditioner and detangler from Curl of Essence. Y'all, are they still around? Oh my God, I was praying for her. This girl is so talented. She's got so much skill but I think like something happened in our life and personally and it just kind of affected the business side of things but my god she could be a billionaire she can make some products in remarkable ways this was like a mist you could use to detangle your hair that also softens it and conditions it you can do that to refresh you can do it to um I use it when I first began my uh, hair washing process. If I'm going to pre-poo, I can take this, spread all over my dry hair and get it just nice and misted, not wet, misted where this stuff is so hydrating that I use it to separate my hair just to keep it from breaking and snapping. Uh, as I am manipulating it on wash day is super for that. If you've got hair midweek that you just need to, you don't want to add styler back onto it because you know it's going to build product build up but just a little bit of a hydrating mist before um retwisting or something this is great for that this is water coconut milk btms olive oil coconut oil castor oil honey black seed oil germal plus essential oils and fragrance it smells so exotic fruity mango pineapple it was just great great i just i want her back i know she had some issues but i want her back by golly i i'm praying for her i really she's just got too much skill to not be winning and then we win when we get a chance to use the product so i'm gonna check on her uh here's from tree hut this is oh it's leaking this is my sugar scrub from tree hut called bohemian escape one of these always make an appearance in an empties video. I always tell you if I have to run into a store, if I'm out of town and I didn't carry one of my scrubs, this is what I would go to. And even now, if I carry one with me, I, when I go in and I see these, like it takes everything in me not to grab another one, especially if I find a fragrance that I haven't tried before. Like, oh my gosh. And not only are their sugar scrubs good, but y'all, their butters are good. Like it's just a very very they're they make really really high quality uh products that you you just don't pay a whole lot for they're well worth all that they cost in some so this one was the uh it says it has turmeric in it which exfoliates and tones skin it is a humongous 18 ounces and what do they cost like seven eight dollars love this stuff so yes i didn't even say about the other repurchases but yes i have several of those in different fragrances everywhere here is a aromatherapy shower mist I showed you guys this in a small haul that I did from a company called honestly Margo this is in the Clementine grapefruit citrus uh, fragrance and it is just a mist a shower mist you spray it in the corners of your shower and then it just kind of fragrances your shower the entire time you're in there I love this you can get it in different fragrances and it just depends on what kind of mood you're in um but it has essential oils in it the rest of the ingredients are all natural it is just such it's such a fabulous idea um to just kind of enhance that shower experience but this particular one my lid broke you know it's a spray bottle but my sprayer broke and i'm sure if i play with it long enough i could I don't know, get it out of there and use it in something else, but it's just too much trouble. I bought it at 50% off anyway. I will put the um, website to this too, so you can check it out and follow them because every now and then they have a really good sale and you can try some really, really cool stuff. But I hate that sprayer bro. You should have seen me trying to get my stuff out of there. Shoot. Here is Mamonde. I hope that's right. This is their rose water toner. 
little sample size that came in my eBay beauty haul, which I will link down below for those of you who weren't around for that. I got a ton of uh, sample size, more upscale brands of things that you would find, maybe like in a Sephora. And um, I love this. So gentle, but so toning. It didn't strip your skin. It was just, it's rose. So it's got rose water in it. It's just like the perfect, perfect ingredient. So I won't buy this again simply because it's too expensive. And I do have some um, more, how should I say, more quality ones for a little less budget. But this is excellent. If somebody gifted it to me, I'd surely use it. Or if I could find a really, really, really good sale, then I'd, I'd buy that again. But that was good. Here's my Aveeno Skin Relief Body Wash from the same bag. I'm slowly getting through all those little samples. So this is for itchy dry skin and it is the one that includes oatmeal. For those of you who are uh, dry itchy skin type, this uh, brand, uh, the Aveeno this particular line of it was very good. It was really soft. Using this, I really felt like um, I was using an all natural, pure, fresh ingredient one. Gosh, it made your skin so soft. And the suds was amazing. Just this soft, clean uh, lather that took forever to use because you only needed a teeny tiny drop. So if you have sensitive skin, this is for you. Uh, if you have a lot of skin allergies, because this is dye-free, soap-free, but it's very creamy and it's excellent for itchy, dry, troubled skin. So, Avino, remember her. Here is my dream butter. I can't believe I used all of this. This is from Coco Beauty Essentials. Uh, I am an affiliate for this brand and I never, this is the only product I've been able to finish up. Uh, so I will put this in the description box. It is a black owned skincare company. She's got a few more things now other than just uh, body care. Uh, this is a butter. She has oil. She has head scar. She has, all these are handmade. She makes amazing, amazing products. And so this dream butter I used during the winter time until I used it up uh, like early spring that I used as a moisturizer on my face. This one said dry skin friendly. It features olive, jojoba, and grapeseed oil. It also has chamomile tea, kukui nut oil. I'm trying to at least hit the five, first five, y'all. Chamomile tea. Olive oil, jojoba oil, grapeseed, and kukui nut oil. That's the first five ingredients. But this was so buttery. I think it's got, I'm sure it's got shea butter in it. But so buttery. It smells so good. It had a lemon essential oil in it. And it's just got this, is, is it lemon? Grapefruit. That is the essential oil, grapefruit. But it had that citrus smell to it that it just smells so luxurious. Whenever I put this on, I was it made me close my eyes and just slowly rub it in each and every time. It's just super, super luxurious. I'm so proud of her. But I'll put that in the description box, the link for you to subscribe to her email list and follow her on Instagram. This is another little sample clay mask from my ebay box this one is from the company y'all i don't know the company's name but this is called mud masky yeah that's the name of the company mud masky and i tried this thinking okay it's just good it's it's a mask but it was this thick clay that came out of this little bitty hole like it took forever to get a little bit out but you literally only need a pea size amount for your entire face it took forever to uh, use up, but it says it pore refines, hydrates, anti-aging, brightening, and smoothing. And after I used this the first time, I knew I was buying this again. Like whatever it costs, I was going to buy this again. This is that good. Uh, I think it uses Dead Sea something. I remember reading that when I went to look at the ingredients to see what the deal was about it. So it uses this special uh, deep sea mineral mud to use it. And it refines pores tremendously. And it is one of those you put on your face and it gets tight 
and it pulls all that oil and gunk out of your pores. So it's like your pores go from this to so smooth and, and just your skin just felt amazing after this. So I have several more of these. Um, that's why I'm so glad I get a chance to try small miniature sizes of things. You never know when you're going to like something and I love that. Um, this is Honey Pot. This is their feminine wash. Okay. I bought this. Because my sister told me how great it was. You are going to love it. There's nothing else like it. And I think I made a very short video before about this. It is plant-based. It contains no parabens, no dioxides. Very gentle. It is pH balanced. It contains colloidal silver, sulfate-free, cruelty-free. Um, and it says just shake, pump three times, and wash with clean hands. Use daily to... Uh, refresh. I like this. This was good. Uh, it lasted quite a while. Three pumps to me was a lot. But um, I liked it. But she made me think it was the best one in the world that I'd ever tried. And I'm going to be honest. Annabelle's one is it's better than this. It's better, y'all. So if you are, if you like this, you, have, have you tried Annabelle's one? Um, what does she call it, y'all? What line is it in? She's got a feminine care line, and she has a feminine wash that is, this is five ounces. Hers is an eight-ounce bottle. It is more liquidy. It's not a foam. It is liquidy, but it's, I like it so much better than this. I can't say it as if it's a fact that it's better. I like it much better than this, and so... If this was the gold standard, then I'll always buy hers. It's, it's that good. And if you've used it before, then come on and let me know that I'm not the only one. If you agree or not, then please share. Uh, okay, time's winding up. I'm talking again too much. Here is my vitamin C serum by the company Rich and Clear. This serum I use after I tone my face during my skincare routine. This company, Rich and Clear, is owned by Valencia, who owns Honey's Handmade. Her son owns this company, Rich and Clear, and they are a skincare company. He likes dabbling in that. I bought this many, many months ago, I think around Black Friday, and it is a serum, but as you can see, there's quite a bit still in here, maybe about half, maybe a little less than half. I love how it feels on my skin, but this one looks cloudy. It looks in the, like, just like it is in the bottle. So you can see here, it's got amazing ingredients in it. It has organic aloe juice, glycerin, carrot seed oil, avocado oil, I see DMAE, Meadow seed oil, vitamin A esters, vitamin B, rose hip, evening primrose, tamanu, neem oil, or uh, rosemary leaf extract. Like when I saw the ingredients and I got it for 50% off a of sale one time, I was like, heck yeah. But here's my gripe. It's so thick. And when I rub it into my skin, like it, I can't get it to absorb in. Like I'm just pushing it around and around and around on my face. No much, no matter how long I rub, I, I can't get it to absorb. And I kept trying because I love the way it feels. Oh, I love this so much. And I really need, you know, you if you're not, not using a vitamin C serum, you should. It really does give your face that little extra glow. But I, I couldn't get this to absorb kind of sad but I know that Sherry bought some since then and the new bottles um this is clear it's not that cloudy thick product like this is hers is clear and so she promised to let me know how it was when she used it so Sherry if you're watching let us know how the new uh, vitamin C serum is and so I, I'm sure it's better because this was just like eventually it will rub in but because it's the you know almost the first second step in your routine it's like I got more stuff I need to put on after this and I just don't have time for this to absorb so that is why I wouldn't buy this particular one would I try the new one yes I would 
I would because I, I love the ingredients. I think it's a great product. Here is John Masters Organic Rosemary and Peppermint Detangler. I got this stuff on clearance out of Walmart forever years ago. I had never even heard of John Masters Organics when I bought it, but I picked it up. I saw the ingredients. I'm sorry, I said Walgreens. This was in TJ Maxx, as you can see, my faded, 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 faded clearance tag. It was in TJ Maxx. Um, it has ingredients like aloe juice, water, jojoba seed oil, behendromonium methyl sulfate, vitamin B, sunflower oil, chamomile extract, safflower, did I say safflower? Safflower and sunflower oils. Uh, there is bagel seed oil, white tea leaf extract, wheat germ oil, fennel seed oil. The ingredients in this stuff was impeccable. I couldn't leave this there. I couldn't. It says it's 78% organic ingredients. It's a lightweight conditioner with organic plant oils, protein, and vitamins. Detangles unruly hair. That was my word. That That's what got me right there. When I saw 78% organic ingredients and it said detangles unruly hair. That's when I put it in my, I don't, I've never read the rest, but it adds, also adds shine. Apply desired amount to clean wet hair, leave on one to three minutes and rinse. And that's how I used it as a rinse out conditioner after I shampooed. It was phenomenal. It was phenomenal. All those wonderful ingredients in organic form, just marinating in your hair. And so when I went to rinse this out, it was just a slippery dream. I actually went to try to find this again of course, the store didn't have it, and I tried to find it online. That's how much I liked it. I went hunting for it, but when I saw it for $24, I changed my mind. I changed my mind. I liked it. I loved it, but I just can't pay $24 for it. I just couldn't. There are a lot of other rinse out conditioners that do a great job that I can catch on sale for $7, $8 sometimes, so... I, I, just out of principle. I just couldn't do it. I'm sorry, John Masters. I just could not do it. Uh, here is Rose Face Mask. This is infused with real rose petals, soothes, and tones. This is a little sample size mask, again, from the eBay box. And y'all, this may not have come with the original box. I went back and bought some more of these. This, that is how much I love these. Just this gentle clear mask that you put on your face. You could tell it has aloe in it and glycerin and the ingredients list is not on here. I did go and read it before I rebought it, but just, it's this all natural company. The ingredients were just amazing. And then mixed in with it were real rose petals. You could make it out with the naked eye, the little chipped up rose petals. And so whenever I use a, a clay mask on my face, one that is really stripping that really pulls out all the gunk something with the bentonite clay and it feels dry and stripped after that i always go back in with something like this that's when i use this it's so gentle you could use it every day um but i used it after that because i love how it just made it it just put all that hydration back and just it looked just like a clear paste like just a clear thin layer and so you look at it and think what can this possibly do but when you rinse it off oh my god my skin was so slippery and soft love this so uh sephora sells it you can find it a few other places if you google it but if you're interested in that let me know i probably won't link that just ask me if you want to know more about that y'all 25 minutes i'm gonna stop i'm gonna stop i'm gonna just stop here and then I'll record the next one in a another video um, because I've kind of got probably just as many as I just showed you all over again. So stay tuned for part two. Thank you for being here. Thanks for watching. Again, any of these products that I've shown you conjure up anything for you, any memories of using it, maybe something you wanted to use, something you got a question about, drop it down below. I'll see you soon. Mwah. Love you. Bye. Subscribe, new people. I see you. I see you. Subscribe to the channel. Bye, guys.